Hello, all. my name's Joe, and I'm going to show you how to set up culling inside of Unreal Engine. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3 dslibrarycom for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So what we've got here is a scene I'm currently working on. What I'll do is I'll just turn the FPS on so you can get an idea of... Um, the performance hit we've got here. I have done no optimization to this at all um, currently. It's still something I'm working on, so I haven't applied LODs or culling, but I thought that this would be a good opportunity to show culling um, and how effective it can be um, before I do all things like the LODs and stuff like that. So as you can see here, we're getting like, uh, I'm trying to just highlight it a bit better here. We're getting like anywhere between 10 to 20 frames a second, which obviously in games terms is not very good. So what we can do is we can set up culling. Now what culling does is that basically you'll see sometimes in computer games when you're moving along, things that are popping in, you know, in the distance or um, perhaps up close. Um, a great ex example of culling is Black Desert Online, um, which is actually one of the main things that people complain about is all the popping, uh, the vegetation and things like that. You're, they've done it so that it's the, the culling is very close to the camera, so you really do notice it but you know unfortunately that's the limitations of their their engine currently um but yeah as i say this is is used in pretty much all computer games to optimize it as much as possible so what we can do here is if we go over the left to the modes panel and type in cull and drag this cull distance volume in and i've already got one over here so i'll move to my one and when we click on it you will get um this usual sort of yellow box it'll be small at first what you want to do is you just scroll down here and you just want to encompass your world in the curl box so i've got mine surrounding my city here so what we then do is um we scroll back up and we will go to it generally i think starts like this and you'll get two um, if not you can add more here so what you've got is you've got the size so this is the size of the um the object to cull so i'm saying anything that's like 200 pixels in size or or you know i think one below is bigger um what's that one click on it yeah a thousand pixels in size will be culled to this distance so basically this is how far away from the camera is so what i'll do as an example here is that if i hit g on the keyboard to hide all our gizmos what this also does is this applies the culling as well so uh, currently here we're getting nothing happening but if i change this to say 100 what should happen is a lot of this should disappear so you can see there instantly it's disappeared so that's our culling in effect so now when we move closer you can see it's all gradually coming in so again if you hit g again everything appears back so that's a good way of testing your culling and how it's working um so obviously what we can do here is we go back to our curl we'll we'll reset that back to what it was and um we've got now the the larger objects so things like these buildings obviously you need to be a bit more um uh sensible about this because obviously you don't want it where so you're driving around you know a town you want to try and avoid it that buildings are suddenly popping in in front of you but i'm going to do this as an example so what we can do here is we can go 500 and you can see straight away that they disappear again if i hit g they come back but as we're moving along anything that's that's within that size that is suddenly popping in you can see here but you can also see now the frame rate that we're getting you know um before when we were in this area we were getting like uh, 16 frames a second something like that so this the culling is incredibly important when we go back to my scene and say i haven't properly set this up yet but i thought hang on this is an opportunity to show people if i zoom right out you can see here that currently this is how i've got it set i want to be a bit more aggressive with it when um but i'm just trying to get it right for the scene is that when i pull back you'll see here that all the stuff that's not being seen is being um culled so hopefully this has helped um it's very important to help increase performance and things like that and if it has please do like subscribe and hit that bell cheers